Hi everybody, Mitch here, Simmer here. So we're going into the second round of the Genesis Invitational here. Going ahead again, trying to make sure, or try to make the cut. That would be really, really wonderful. 2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Here we are at the Genesis Invitational, one of the top events each year on the schedule. Today's coverage is Oh about boy, to start. and we have got join us for this second round action. a lot of wind. Hello, Luke Olvey here with Rich Beam. And Rich, as this round begins, what are your thoughts on this particular player? Look, this player's trailing at the moment. Let's face it, there is so much oh boy. left out there. That's what I was worried about. Let's just sit Shoot. Back, relax, and watch it unfold. I thought we had way more yards than that, but it's all right. Take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. Let's see. This should still get us on the green. Looks to be going with the four iron. There we go. Yep, solid connection. This not is bad. Good. I'll take that. Inside the range. What's in front of them, Henny? That right. is a Down heck of a. Heck of a run here. I'm gonna be gentle. Oh, I was off anyway. But we got a birdie. That's a good start. Here we are at the second tee. I've never seen a golf course where you're so happy to start off birdie bogey. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. The second hole, pretty straight away off the tee shot. The second shot moves a little bit from left to right back up the hill. There is some space on the right-hand side to miss your second shot up by the green, but there's Just no hoping the wind calms down right a bit. To get back on the green. That would be it's really nice. Second hole. All right, this is going to be about four yards back with the wind, maybe two, three yards back, so we're losing like seven. So I probably want to cut it back some. Let's do that. Looks to be going with the five iron. Ooh, a little bit further over oh, than I'd like. Right turn, Clyde. But not a bad an spot. Ripper. What a shot. Let's see. For for back -to -back birdies. Ah, it's gonna Ooh. stay too far left. You know, Darn. Once made all four hundred plus attempts inside three feet on the PGA hm. tour. This is important. Big par putt here. Quite oh. often the hardest hole in golf. Crosswind. Oh no. Shake it. Boy, they caught it right out of the screws. Wow. Second shot here on the third. All right. Well, that was not a good tee shot, that's for sure. He's about 165 from his flag. I'm going to gain four yards. We're going to blow over some, so I'm going to try that. Hopefully that'll work. Going with the eight Ooh, here. a little too fast, but I think position-wise it's not bad. Up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. It is, but long that long is going to be a up. long putt. Let's go to John Rahm. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry. Ooh, hits the, that way? hits the flagpole. And back to the play, Look we? at that. They're a long way from the hole here. Wow. This one to save par. All right, so we've got a lot of movement to begin with, but then kind of slight. Let's see. Ah, uh, maybe. Right maybe. Oh. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. That would have been nice. Moving down the leaderboard. That's not the direction to be heading. Here we are at the fourth hole. Right. This is a spectacular par three. Ideally, players want to hit a tee shot that moves significantly from right to left and moving with the contour of the green. If they can do that, then they've got an opportunity to hit it really close. If they challenge the pin off the tee shot... Well, Goodness gracious, that's that not what I wanted. At least we're not in the bunker. Wow. This rough looks to be lush and thick, doesn't it? Yes, this is like a big bowl of spinach right. salad. Eleven back. Gnarly in there. So this should be about 
right where we want it. Decent shot. All right. Oh, that rolled a lot more than I was hoping. Oh, goodness. This is what's killing me. Like, the lie on these is just so chant. Oh, come on. Didn't quite have the wow. Wow. Lot slower going up the hill than what this player read. Game's just getting a little out of shape by the looks of it. And making one bad mistake with another Oof. compounding it, not good. Sadly, in the sand, but a chance to make up for the error. Oh, what a touch oh, come on. The sand. Thing looked like it curved all over the place. I mean, we saw what our putt was like. Wow. That was uh, impressive. Oh, is this going to roll off again? I think it is, so let me go with the three wood. Not necessarily going to hit driver here. They have to be mindful that the fairway pitches significantly from right to left on their tee shot. From there, they're hitting their second shots downhill. Yeah, the driver would have been off for sure. Away from them front to back. So that again, works. A simple looking second shot, but a difficult one to get close. So it's gonna be seven yards. This it's gonna get me to one forty five. And then a bit of a roll. Down the hill. A little less club is required. I what happened there? Oh my goodness, I cannot string multiples together. This is just bad. I'm thinking this is just going to go flying. Well, I got the right angle at least. Alright, not bad. An opportunity to make a par here. Again, just such a struggle for par. Come on, move over. Okay, You're kidding me. I am getting so close. Oh, I thought that was gonna I thought that was gonna drift away again. Golly. Started out so well. What an incredible design this is. And it really just takes this green and it makes it into a section of four. The back right, the front right, front left, and back left. They all have their unique features to it. And that all is due to the simple fact that that bunker, which is tiny, minuscule, almost not even there, it basically shapes that green into the four quadrants. It is just an amazing design. Oh boy. Oh, not at all. Not at all good. Have overcooked this one. And here we are with the third shot. Certainly makes putty easy if you can chip it that close. Unbelievable. strikes again. I felt so good with the initial shot. Ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. And as John Rahm steadies himself over the ball. Oh, he hit the little bunker. But of course he makes it. What a man. What a man. Rival plays golf every single second of the day and eats birdies for breakfast, lunch and dinner. This is what you get. Yeah, I would like to say the wind was my problem, but it's not. The bunker down the left-hand side comes in quicker than you can imagine and so players want to try and hit it out towards the far right part I'm like thinking about my swings but if you find the fairway happy days this green is probably one of the most severe tilted from back to front players need to make sure their second shots land past this hole in order for it to come back down towards the hole you will have a downhill putt but it's better than coming up short all right, let's see. This should hopefully do it. Looks to oh, for the too anchor. far fast. Ay, ay, ay. Just a little off with the accuracy there, unable to find the green. Can't fault him there. This so part of my challenge bad. here no fault missing the green. is we are now at the end of the last season of TGC Tours, they have released information that says they are going to be um, just 
wanted to get that shot off. They're going to be starting the tour in October. And I'm starting to think that maybe I just give it a go. And that I keep trying to improve my game here in this. But, the again, the mechanics, for the most part, are decent. It's just, again, getting past those nerves and, and all the other stuff. You know, I really felt good when I hit the first thing, and then... I just don't understand. Like, see, I'm, I'm getting some decent shots here and there. I'm just not doing it consistency-wise. Alright. See, like, that wasn't bad. That'll be pretty good. But again, this will be for a crazy par shot. Do you think it's makeable? Good straight stroke. Come on. I tell you what, I've been wrong once before. This one's for bogey. In she goes. Let's head to the next. So everything I've watched on videos on putting and stuff is it, a lot of it is just feel. I mean, I think I'm doing what I need to be doing. It's just been a bit of a challenge to do anything. Wow. Right hand side, which is not. A bad um, from there. The second shot is directly uphill. It's just not the greatest. Bunkers on the front right part of this. That is All right. not the place that to miss it. That should work. Anything that a little bit long. So let's see what we can do here. Decent shot at the that pin. Not terribly far. So He'll be delighted. we'll take well, that. Eddie, what's he got in front of him here with this putt? Yeah, Fifteen feet out. He's been staring this one down. Again. Come on. I am just not pulling it far enough. Just hammered that through the line. Right over the spot they were looking at. That's just a par. I need I need to get into the point where I'm getting birdies. Because if I don't get any birdies, like I can't make any mistakes. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. But yeah, at this right, point, Rich, I mean, again, I was plus nine when we started, so... Yeah, see, I would have only been three strokes right now, away if I could have stayed there. Miracle for them to stick around. We can hope for one. So, we'll see what we can do. See, but like I said, I mean, I'm... Oh, that is I'm doing... Ooh. Wasn't quite what I had hoped for, but still, that was a good shot, I would say, overall. And then, just go from here. It did look good for a long time, but... Alright. That's one. It's always good. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Now a par we need a lot of points. shifts, though. That's the it's problem. Just a long straightaway par five, almost a runway, if you like. Both sides. Very straight. That's by for sure. Eucalyptus trees, which frames this tee But see, this is my point. Like when I'm on, like shot, I'm again, doing well, and so that shrinking that shouldn't right matter much, and I should and be nasty. able to do okay. So it might just be worth trying because I don't want to like miss half the season or something because I think I'm close here. All right, let me pay a little attention because I've just kind of been going but thinking that, well, I'm not doing much, but let's see. that would be a little bit of a move. Yeah, a little bit. Whoa, that got pretty close. That's a high quality recovery shot. Love watching this player around the greens. All right, let's see. It's just about three feet away. Looking for another birdie so, here. It's probably the first back-to-back -back no, birdies I've John. had. He's happy. Just came off a birdie. Out of the first round, because again, the first wow, round I think I did okay. Needed it. 
needed that in but, a um, way, chipping in I think the that's bar. the first two double birdies or back-to-back -back birdies I've had since that this season. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. This is where the golf course gets extremely difficult, Luke. This tee shot moves from left to right, but massive overhanging eucalyptus trees down the right-hand side. I must, maybe I should just keep talking while I play. <laughs> Once you're in the fairway, though, your second shot is to a green that's really not as big as it should be for such a long oh hole. Oh boy, am I going to make this? Tree just short and left of this green. I think Humphrey I'll be tree. okay, not but we'll see. Because Humphrey Bogart used to sit no. there and just watch All right, well, the bounce worked. Hole. And here we are with the third shot. All right, let's see. It's going to land and roll, so we're just going to let it go. Might be parable. And a par par awaits him. But, ooh, this is going to have a bit of a, a break here. Come on. All right. Let's go to John Rahm. Oh, he's out in front here in this so, rivalry, but can he Sean's that doing way? decently. John Rahm getting ready for his next shot. Mm, got it's close. Now, Again, I'm sure he'll one make one the cut. Lead. He'll be okay. Yeah, he's even. He's 21st, for goodness well, sake. Let's see what happens here on the 13th hole, shall we? It's really cool. This tee shot is framed by large eucalyptus trees. All right, right so we're going to go ahead and we're just going to play this and try to keep it good. Like I said, talking, I'm hitting fine. If I shut up and pay attention, somehow my timing goes to... You're gonna love the to crap. Shot. I don't the understand. The when the pin is all the way back left in this little peninsula. You miss it a little bit left there. You're gonna All find right. the Branca, and you're probably gonna find a bogey. Hoping we'll be okay here. Well, not that way. Again, I stopped and thought, and we saw what that got me. All right. All right. Decent shot. Oh, don't roll off. Although, I don't know. You think it'll make this one? Luke, I, I really don't think this is going to happen, but you know what? I've been wrong before, and it could happen again. I'm going to miss it just a little bit. I can't believe it. Uh, this one is for bogey. That was just the misread again. And moving down the leaderboard hmm. as well. All right, so we're going to gain five yards. We're going to move over a bit. So this should all play out pretty well. well. That might be better than I had hoped for. The, ooh, it's going to roll off. That's a tad by wood. Unbelievable. Gotta believe the wind affected the golf I've ball really got to crank this. Oh, uh, just that did not break at all. Nice little par putt here. We'll now move over to John Rahm. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. So let's, let's see what see. happens. Oh, well, he's yeah. staying on his par. Beauty. What an amazing play out of the greenside bunker. Up and in the hole. Nicely done. So, yeah, we are well, still playing together. Oh, wow, That's this is... Bar four, and yet there's some players that have seen wow. it a little bit differently lately. This is a lot of wind like here. That's right for sure. That Ooh, right well, side. so much for the and talking, but I was green. thinking a bit, too. It's got a high spot on the left, and it's Let's got a low middle section and a high put it there, on the right side, and, and that'll probably work. Flat putt. It is always breaking one direction. I knew I was going too fast, but it gets down. me out. This is the most I'm not sure I could have a better shot of that anyway with the if you see it differently, you can hit it down the right uh, down 17 fairway, see. but I fail to see how that's any kind of advantage. Opting for the five iron. I thought I was holding up a bit, a and I was. Henny, do you have a better look at this lie? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. This is not sitting nicely. Alright, let's see. Put this back. So we want to go probably about there. Decent timing. 
A little too too fast. This is their fifth shot. But yeah, that's kind of my point is just you know, going ahead and giving it a shot, maybe. And just continuing to practice in this series. And eventually hopefully everything will come together. So um so like I said, obviously I'm I'm not it's not requiring a ton of mental energy. It's not requiring if you can believe that. It's surrounded by bunkers. So it's gonna blow back nine. It's gonna take me to one fifty. Yeah, that'll be about right, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and just get ooh, the bunkers. The bunkers. Huh. If you hit it in any one of those bunkers, making a par will be nearly impossible. Well this guy's gonna do it. See? bunker shot what a play great shot nicely done because this guy's Shots magic from the bunker for an up and down but let's see I'm gonna lose 10 percent so I'm gonna lose 20 oh boy because I really shouldn't hit it even as hard as I have yeah that's what I was worried it's gonna be too far but and if this can go down, he'll save par. On a nice line. There we go. I like so I proved him wrong. Making par will be tough out the of the bunker. With their tee shot, and that is a very good save. We have a par five on this one. At all costs, do not hit it in that fairway bunker down the right-hand side. Anywhere it's always the, the challenge is to it's not do that. From there, your next shot should be laid up out to the right-hand side. Third shot straight back up the hill with some hmm. kind of wedge. It can be an aim in the bunker and then get, move over. The distance on your third shot spot on. If you get it wrong, All right. however, wind could have some issues. Do your thing. Cool. Wow, that kicked a lot get further than I thought. Alright, so it's gonna lose about three yards. The wind shouldn't matter much. Looks about right. I think that'll be good. Ooh, that just died. Let's go to John Rahm. Oh, he's out in front. I think I've hit that rivalry. on this before. But can he stay that way? Oh, so close. Yeah, the commentary's gotten a little crazy with the rivalry because obviously. Here, just below the hole, they can be aggressive up the hill. Oh boy, let's see. It's going to be too far left still. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Alright, this one's going to definitely blow over quite a bit. Oh, a little too fast, but maybe it'll stay on. Not bad. Second shot is to a green that actually tilts away from the players, not towards them, even though the second shot is uphill. Green is historically one of the firmest wow. on the golf course, and getting it close is nearly This impossible. one is a bit it crazy. Is a of a finishing hole. It as should as bounce as onto the green, the though. Left. There we go. Cool. Quality shot, that. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. A good amount of movement again. So we're going to see if we can make it. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. And with that, this round comes to a close. Well, that's a shame. Unfortunately, unable to Plus six. I mean, it was a better round than the last round. Even the greats, you miss a cut. It's never a good feeling. But you learn from I just hope the sponsors keep ignoring and everything <laughs> and just stick with us. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for so I think you. once I get to the 3,150 points, I get a little bit more money, more virtual currency, which is always a nice thing. Um, 
Alright, I stayed. I didn't fall any further, so that's good. But I'm just 144th, which doesn't help anybody. So the only thing I was thinking, because in theory I shouldn't have been in that Invitational, because I was supposed to be in the top 100, or have won a tournament, and I wonder if you're always invited in the future if you make a tournament. So see, like, well, this one I'm sure I'll get to the alternate on, because when they have alternates, it's almost guaranteed. But see, like, when any event in see in any season so i think that's why i got invited so i think like once you win and again i won and i won a major before so like i might always be going to these i just so i might be grandfathered in any event any major or any event you know so because I did win a major in my first season. I got, I had a really good, good game in that one. I might be able to make the cuts all the time as far as the invites to the invitationals. So that may be what's going on, which is fine. I mean, it gives me more golf and so forth, which is obviously what I want to be doing. But um, we're gonna have some time between now and uh, October. So um, these aren't that far ahead at, at this point. I kind of got close. I think I'm maybe a week ahead. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, I'm doing this over Labor Day weekend in the US and this will publish when it publishes, but it should probably still give two weeks at least before I'm going. So I'll mention it next time for sure, and you know maybe a couple more times. But you know if you're strongly opposed to me trying the TGC tours um, and trying to do that, and just you know struggling through that because it's it's going to be a struggle. I mean I don't think I'm going to do terribly well, but I think it's just more golf, and more importantly, it it's going to get me on a lot of different courses. It's going to. Um, just give me more opportunity to get that swing timing um, a little bit more locked in. Although, like I said, I've definitely gotten to the point, so I'm starting to feel good about that choice to switch to the uh, official Xbox controller because it does appear to have an impact on the touch. I mean, it took a little while to kind of unlearn the bad habits, I suppose. But I've gotten far, far more things in the perfect range in the last five or six events than I've ever gotten uh, like in probably two dozen events before um, I, it was like if I could get a perfect once every other round I think that was probably good before and now I'm certainly doing it multiple times uh, a round let alone an event so I was going to say it was like a perfect every other event, not every other, you know, so I'd go like four, four, six rounds without a perfect, and I'm definitely doing better than that. So anyway, a lot of talk here at the end, but um, just trying to be open and honest as I am on the channel with, with everything, what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, because I'm always looking for feedback from folks. You know, what I won't do obviously I've had some folks talk about hey maybe you know you should stay at the super super easy levels for a lot longer I, I, I don't think I'm gonna step back the difficulty because um, I don't feel that's the problem obviously I'm, I'm getting good swing path I'm getting good timing um, quite often it's just you know the the nerves and so forth and that's not gonna get any better I'm not, you know, I got to struggle through that. And, you know, like I said, I think part of it is just understanding, you know, I'm not playing in real life here. I'm not spending, you know, my money to enter these tournaments and then flubbing around. I mean, it's, it's a game, so I just probably need to take myself less seriously on these. But it's a challenge because I'm just always trying to win every time out. So, but anyway, I will see you next time.